Welcome back to the final play. Joining me, New Orleans Hornet forward Carl Landry on the program. Welcome, Carl. Pleasure. Nice to see you. Hey, nice to see you. And before we get into some basketball talk, let's talk about your project for tomorrow because you have a camp at Pelican Park in Mandeville. Share that information for the viewers and the kids watching. Well, myself and the Hornets are running a, a, a camp uh, Pelican Park starting tomorrow through the 22nd. And uh, just looking forward to having some fun with the kids. Is there information how they can get a hold? Yeah, definitely. Uh, for the camp? Uh, Hornets.com. Uh, you can register on Hornets.com tonight okay. or first thing in the morning. Or you can come to uh, Pelican, Pelican Park, Park. Yeah, okay. uh, White Gym, and uh, register in the morning at 845. Okay, so that's Pelican Park. And that's tomorrow, Hornets.com, the site of the registration. Uh, before we get into some NBA playoffs, because I want some of your insight on that, yeah. let's talk about you. Because right. you're at that point in your career, you're a free agent. Yeah. So being a free agent, obviously there's sides of the business that you have to look at things because that's just the way things go. Of course. But your intentions are, you seem to have adjusted beautifully. When you came back off the injury playing here, mm -hmm. you found the role, you had a sense of comfort. What's in store for you? Uh, Without <laughs> telling me the whole inside deal. <laughs> well, free agency, obviously, you know, uh, it's a part of the game. Uh, I've been through it before. Uh, I actually had a chance to, to sign with the Hornets, you know, last year on a one-year deal. So uh, that was really big for me. And uh, But this year, I'm in the same situation again, looking forward to, you know, making the best of this opportunity. And, uh, hey, coming back to the Hornets would be a great fit. You know, I enjoy my time here, this, the, the, uh, the fans, mm -hmm. uh, the city, everything about New Orleans is, is wonderful. So, uh, you know, New Orleans is a good team, got a good thing going with the new owner. And the ball club, and, you know, Monty Williams, Dale Dimps, they're, they're wonderful. Uh, and I know they're going to make sure the team goes in the right direction. So New Orleans is, is definitely a place that I'm considering. But uh, at the same time, it's a business, and uh, I'm a free agent. So, yeah, you just uh, never know. You never know. You just never know. But, yeah. too, the good thing about here is it, all that mystery about is the team going to be here, they're going to go, and they're going to stay. That's all removed. Now yeah. it's a permanent fixture in the sports uh, landscape. Yeah, it definitely feels good. You know, we got the news last year during the season that the team will be here. Uh, through 2024 20, mm -hmm. and just to get the news that you got an owner you know that gives the team stability uh, gives us comfort you know and I got so much faith in, in uh, and nothing but good things to say about coach Williams and uh, Dell Dips and I know this ball club would be right where they need to be okay Oop, it's pop quiz time it's a special time of the program <laughs> we ask a question it's unannounced not on the script you have five seconds to tell me you oh, add Lord. one thing to your game next year what might it be Defense. Very good. Okay, <laughs> moving along on the program. <laughs> Defense so, wins games. Exactly. So I'm to get back in that area. Exactly. The off season for you. How long do you take off before you start working on the game going into next year? Uh, maybe about a, a month. So you rest the legs. You know, yeah. yeah, just rest the legs. You might, you know, you bump, bump, got bumps and bruises. You may not really know about because you know, a drilling, or, a drilling or whatever, you know, and yeah. uh, just about a month and uh, get back out there. Okay. Be careful. I started resting mine 15 years ago. I never stopped. Okay. <laughs> Playoffs. Want to get your thought on this. Got Oklahoma City. You and I were talking before, before the program. This is the emergence of a whole new level of talent in this league. Bunch of us talking before the show mm -hmm. with Durant, James, and Westbrook, and Harden. Throughout the league, it's like a rebirth to sprinkle in with the guys that are currently here. How do guys like you, how do you observe it and what do you see? It's a good look. You know, growing up I watched, you know, Michael Jordan win six championships and after that it was Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant. So like, uh, it's, a, it's a good look. You know, the Miami Heat, I, I couldn't tell you the last time they won a championship mm -hmm. and I couldn't tell you the last time, okay, see, well never, you know. Right. So it's definitely a good look to the NBA and the city of uh, Miami as well as uh, Oklahoma City. So. Uh, Hopefully the Hornets are there next year. <laughs> next year. <laughs> really? Do you yeah. see, as you guys sit around and watch games, and you're watching games with your friends, you see some new trends emerging in the game. There's always something different that comes every few years. Yeah, What's one, new about it now? One thing that pops out to me is, is the Euro step. Uh, obviously, you know, foreign players are new to the league within the last 10 years or so, but uh, they're teaching that move now. You know, uh, and it's almost like a, a little move fake cross step yeah, back. Left, into the right, jumper. or right, yeah. left, you know, to a jump shot or a layup. And uh, that was something that really nobody had in their game but foreign players uh, up to, you know, two, three years ago. So uh, that's a part that's, that's interesting in that players are adding to their game and it's becoming more normal. You came on the studio today and you said, will he know what the Euro step is? 
and do I you blew know? you away knowing, oh, yeah, I can do the Euro step. Maybe so. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Guy George Adams I played with in college, he was doing the Euro step years ago at Artis Gilmore. Wow. Who I used to feed into the post. Okay? All Little right. piece of trivia. <laughs> now, the length, you're seeing long players. Mm -hmm. You're seeing quickness. You're seeing a big increase. You're seeing an improvement of the off-the-ball long defenders. Abaka. You're, you're seeing what Anthony Davis was at Kentucky. He hasn't formulated yet at the NBA level. We saw it in college. But you're seeing, you're seeing guys at length that can go out on the perimeter, block shots, defend. We're seeing all different little things going on. The physicality of the game has changed. It's definitely changing. I mean, like I said, growing up, you know, it was, it was the Bulls. They had Luke Longley. Mm -hmm. It was the Lakers, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, probably when you were watching basketball, it was like Wilt Chamberlain. Excuse me? Know, <laughs> Bill Russell. Excuse me? What are my happy days? Come on. <laughs> I mean, but... but what? The, <laughs> what am I rerun back in the day where Chuck Taylor all stars? Give me a break. Go all right, ahead. I'll give you a break. But I mean, the game is changing. You know, like you said, you got guys that can come from the weak side and block shots. Anthony Davis obviously won. I play with a guy, Dikembe Mutombo, uh, Ibaka, uh, Serge Ibaka. So uh, the game is definitely more a, a guards game now instead of you know a, a big man's game. Do you like it and, better uh, now? The speed game, more open floor guys playing in more space. Is that beneficial for I, someone I think like I'm you? A, I think I'm a guy that can mix it up. Yeah. You know, I can slow it up and, and you know, use my strength in a half court. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like I, I got the quickness to get up and down the floor and run. What always impressed me about you when you played, you were a guy that never seemed to mind getting smacked. I love it. Guys, I mean, this is what I mean. See, you would, like, light up with contact. Some guys would complain about it. You found it as a way to get to the free throw line to get what they call those free bennies. You relished on that. When did that start? Or was it, or you had to arrive at the conclusion of, I better go mix with the bigs. I know I'm going to get hit. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to have to incorporate that and accept it for what it is. I guess it's just been a part of my game. Okay. You know, uh, I always wasn't, you know, NBA player. So growing up as a kid, I went to the park and played with, with older, you know, older guys. And it wasn't easy. You know, they would, they would file me and beat me up, knock me on the floor, and I wouldn't get the call. So... Uh, just contact is a part of the sport, something that I grew up and got accustomed to. Uh, it's just a part of the game, and uh, like you said, I relish it. Hornets.com is where you go. Pelican Park is the location for his camp. It starts tomorrow. You can go to Pelican Park and register there as well. But go to Hornets.com. You can go tonight. You can go early tomorrow morning and go ahead and register. Carl Landry, I'm glad you stopped by. Hey, no Look problem. Look forward Thanks to for seeing you. Me. Enjoyed the conversation. All right. Enjoy the playoffs. Thank you.